In today's video, I'm going to share with you the exact blood tests you need to get done to evaluate your true thyroid function. I'm also going to give you the optimal ranges for each of the markers so you can tell if you have some thyroid dysfunction. We're also going to take a look at my two most recent thyroid panels because I wanna show you why it's so important to get the full panel and not just TSH. I'm Jenny, I've been doing a carnivore diet experiment since December, 2022 and tracking my progress through weight, measurements, DEXA scans, continuous glucose and ketone monitoring, blood work, and arterial scans, and sharing all of that data with you here on YouTube. I started having issues that I now know were thyroid related in April of 2023, when I lost about 30% of my hair and I experienced some extreme exhaustion. I went to my conventional doctor and she tested my TSH and it came back normal. I asked her if she would run a full thyroid panel for me and she said, no, if your TSH is normal, you do not have thyroid issues. After that initial bowel out of hair loss and exhaustion, I started feeling a bit better. My hair started to grow back. But over the next year and a half, I experienced several weight loss stalls that were paired with bouts of exhaustion. So I now believe that those were thyroid related. I finally got a full thyroid panel and was diagnosed with Hashimoto's hypothyroid by a thyroid practitioner named Dr. Amy Horneman. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune thyroid condition. I did not get this blood work through my conventional doctor though. I ended up ordering all of this blood work on my own. And I will share with you exactly how you can do the same thing. Before we go over my blood work panels, let's go over the optimal values that you should be looking for in your thyroid blood work. First, TSH, you want that to be a two or less. Your T4 should be between one and 1.5, though there's a bit of nuance to that. It's really dependent on what your T3s are doing. You want your free T3 to be in the upper quadrant of the reference range. So on LabCorp, the reference range is 2.0 to 4.4. You want your free T3 to be in the upper quadrant, so like 3.5 or higher. Your reverse T3. If your free T3 is good, you want your reverse T3 to be 15 or less, but optimally that should be a 12 or less. For the antibodies, the TPO and the thyroglobulin antibodies, you want both of those to be zero. And then I also like to test my iodine levels. The thing about iodine is if you're deficient in iodine, it's going to be very hard for your body to even make thyroid hormones because the three that's in T3, that's three iodine molecules. The four that's in T4, that's four iodine molecules. So you really need iodine in order to have optimal thyroid health. So I did a 24 hour iodine loading test. And what you're looking for in that test is to have a 90% excretion rate. I have a complete video on how to take this test, how to read the results, where to order it, and all that stuff that I will link at the end of this video so that you can do that test for yourself. Now, before we take a look at my two thyroid panels, I wanted to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Element Electrolytes. I use the raw unflavored element in the beginning of carnivore and it helped to get me through the very worst of the keto flu symptoms. And now I'm drinking one to two of their new sparkling waters every single day. Both the raw unflavored and their sparkling waters are free of maltodextrin and are excellent choices on the carnivore diet. Now, if you're not being super strict on carnivore, they just released their chocolate medley. This only comes out in the fall and winter and it's chocolate 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 raspberry, and chocolate mint. These can be enjoyed hot, and I also like to use a packet or two of these when I'm making my butter bites. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order, so you can pick up a box of their raw and flavored or some of their sparkling waters, or pick up some of the limited time chocolate medley, and you will get that free sample pack. Head over to the link in the description. It's drinkelement.com slash Jenny Midditch. That's D-R-I-N-K. L-M-N-T dot com slash Jenny Midditch and get your free sample pack with any order today. Also, I'm doing a giveaway of a free box of the chocolate medley. So if you would like to enter this giveaway, just like this video and then let me know in the comment section which of these three flavors you would like to try, the chocolate chai, the chocolate mint, or the chocolate raspberry, or which flavor you already love. I'll pick one winner seven days from the release of this video and I will respond to your comment to let you know that you won. So be sure to pay attention to that. I'll need to get your contact information information so I can send you the free box. So now let's move over my two thyroid panels. My very first thyroid panel was in July, and this was the panel that we used to diagnose my Hashimoto's. My TSH was 0.9. My T4 was 1.51. My free T3 was 2.3. My reverse T3 was 18.8. My TPO antibodies were at 14, and my thyroglobulin antibodies were at less than one. I also did the 24-hour iodine loading test, and I had an 85.5% excretion. So I was not very uh, deficient in 
and iodide. I was very surprised about that. So that's a good thing. Then I had another set of tests in September, the very end of September, when I established a relationship, a patient relationship with Dr. Amy's team. We did 37 blood tests, like 12 vials of blood. But let's just go over that second thyroid panel so we can see if there were any shifts. My TSH was a 1.3. My T4 was at 1.2. My free T3 was down even further to a 2.1, and my reverse T3 went down a little bit to a 17. My TPO antibodies were less than nine, and my thyroglobulin antibodies were still at that less than one. So if your doctor is only testing TSH and T4, you're not going to get a full picture. As you can see, my TSH and my T4 are within range. They are completely normal, yet my symptoms are hardcore. You must at least test reverse T3 and free T3. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well test the antibodies as well so that you can rule out Hashimoto's. So now that I know what's wrong with me, I'm implementing a few changes. First off is a full supplement protocol. Next off is some thyroid and hormone medications. And the third is dialing in some lifestyle stuff. If you'd like to learn more about what I'm doing to improve my symptoms, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Next week's video is going to be a full in-depth look at my Hashimoto's protocol and you're not going to want to miss it. Unfortunately, most doctors are only trained to measure TSH and perhaps free T4. They're simply not trained in medical school to look beyond those markers. And it's not like this is new knowledge, reverse T3, free T3, all this stuff. This stuff has been known for decades. If you are experiencing extreme fatigue, hair loss, weight gain, or stubborn weight loss stalls, those are the most common symptoms of thyroid dysfunction that are out there. Do not let your doctor medically gaslight you. You. You're not just tired because you have kids or because you have a lot on your plate or any of the other bullshit excuses that they'll give you. You very well may have a legitimate thyroid condition and if you don't address it, your symptoms will only get worse over time and it could do some serious damage to your metabolic health. You're going to have to take this into your own hands in most cases, at least to get the initial blood work. In 45 out of the 50 states in the United States, you can order your own blood work online. I use ownyourlabs.com. I have listed out in the description of this video the exact tests you need to get, the prices on ownyourlabs.com, along with a link to Own Your Labs and a 10% off discount code so you can save some money. If you live in a state where you cannot order your own blood work or if you are not currently residing in the United States, you're going to have to have a doctor order this for you. It's best if you approach them in a friendly way as opposed to a combative way because you're trying to get some blood work done and you don't want to turn them off. But Here's what you can say. I'd like to have a full thyroid panel run. Here are the markers I'd like. I will pay for these out of pocket if insurance won't cover them. And if your doctor asks you why you wanna test more than TSH or T4, you can say this. TSH and T4 can be completely normal, but if my reverse T3 is elevated and my free T3 is low, that's an indication of a hypothyroid condition. And if I have thyroid antibodies, that's an indication of Hashimoto's hypothyroid. So I need to have all of these markers tested so that I can rule out thyroid issues. If after asking them that way, your doctor still refuses to test anything more than TSH and T4, it's time to find a new doctor. Remember, your doctor works for you, not the other way around. I'm so happy that I found Dr. Amy and her team. They are amazing. Now, I'm not an affiliate or associated with them whatsoever. This is just my honest review after working with them. You do have to pay out of pocket and it is not cheap but I love that it's all telehealth and I love that I'm working with a team that actually knows what they're talking about when it comes to the thyroid and hormone health. I'll put a link to her website in the description so you can book a call if you'd like to learn more. Another practitioner I'm aware of that's very good is Dr. Brownstein and his team in Michigan. I believe they also do telehealth, so I'll put links to their website in the description below as well. There's also tons of other holistic thyroid practitioners out there. The key is just finding one that knows what the heck they're talking about. But the first step is to find out if you even have a thyroid condition in the first place. So get these six tests done, bookmark this video so you can refer back to what the optimal ranges are. And then if you have something going on with your thyroid, at least then you know, and you can start taking next steps. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ever since I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's, I have been going down a rabbit hole trying to get you the very best, most accurate information available so that you can heal yourself from a thyroid condition. There are lots of things you can do. It is not the end of the world if you have a thyroid issue. It's actually very common, especially in today's world with all the food additives and all the environmental toxins and pollution, bromide in everything, fluoride in our water. It's just 
part of modern existence. On the screen right now, you're going to see some names scrolling. These are all of my channel members. They help to support the testing and data gathering that I do. You can become a channel member here on YouTube or over on Patreon if you'd like to support my work as well. Links are in the description. On the screen, I'm going to link a couple of thyroid related videos that I think you may enjoy and be sure to stay tuned for next week's Hashimoto's protocol video. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.